What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus. Welcome to the Shining Life Family, a place where you're going to learn God's word that's going to build your faith strong and transform your life. I'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional from Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. And today, like we usually do, we're going to review the scriptures. Uh, we're going to review one of the articles from the devotional. We're going to do a Bible study and learn God's word. So get ready. Today's title, we're talking about know who you are. And our theme scripture is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. I'll read on. He says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Uh, Pastor Chris says, I'm going to read the first paragraph. He says, Knowing who you are in Christ is so vital. It is a prerequisite to having the right attitude towards the challenges you might face in life. And living above circumstances. There are many who aren't enjoying the blessings of Christianity because they don't know who they are in Christ. They don't understand who the Christian is. They think, for example, that a Christian is a religious person, someone who goes to church. No, he's much more. Oh man, this is amazing. This reminds me of Sinatra's song, I Know Who I Am. You should probably go listen to that song on YouTube. But yeah, this is a, it's an attitude. Like Pastor Chris said, knowing who you are gives you the right attitude. So when you face the challenges of life, you don't forget who you are. You just know they're temporal. You have that right mi mindset of, hold on a second, I'm more than a conqueror. I mean, it's like um, I had someone give a story about um, um, uh, uh, he, there was an accident outside his house. And he went to look, and there was it was like a a a BMW that had hit a pole. And when you, when they went to look outside, they just saw the pole was kind of ripped off from the ground, but there was no single dent on the BMW. The people inside were perfectly fine, they were perfectly okay, but the pole was totally damaged. The car was to was totally fine. You know why? Because the B BMWs they they give that. They have that um, seal of, 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 you know, manufacturing, that thing of craftsmanship. They say they are, if you're driving our cars, you're safe. You know, we have, you have comfort, you have safety. So, like, they know, they say, if you, they say if you buy a BMW, you know what you're getting. You're getting comfort, you're getting safety. That's despite of how deadly the accident can be, you have a high chance of surviving if you're in a BMW. That's, that's like their... Uh, USP, their selling proposition of, or even Volvos, or even like a Ferrari, they have like a special um, marketing thing. I don't know. USP, what makes it special? What what makes our brand unique? Because they know if you drive in a Beamer or if you're driving a Mercedes Benz, you'll be in safety. You're driving comfort. You're driving luxury. They know that. And people that buy those cars, they they, they put their trust in there. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm driving a Beamer. I'll be safe. I'm saying that to say, um, you need to know what you're made of, your substance. Such that no matter the challenges of life come up, you're, 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 you're not moved because you know, man, I'm more than a conqueror. The greater one lives in me. It says, if any man be in Christ, this is a new person. This is not the same man that, that came from Adam. This is not the same man that when God said, let us create man in our image. No, this is not that same man. <laughs> you know, this is amazing. You know, in God, in Genesis, God said, let us create man in our image, in our likeness. And they made man. And then we all came from Adam. But it was a, the Bible talks about a second Adam. You know, Adam was the first man, right? But it was a second man. So these two creations, you have to understand this. So this is beyond, you're talking about human beings. We are not all coming from the same genealogy like Adam. No, you can't trace it like that. Is a different, we are different, Christians are different species of being. These are totally different species that never existed before. Because the first man, Adam, that's where all human beings came from. The first man, there was a first man. But the Bible talks about the second man, the second Adam, who is Jesus Christ, the man from heaven. And we were born after the second Adam. That's why he says, if any man be in Christ, so from 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 the second man Adam, we 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 hail from him. From Jesus is the second Adam. We came from him. Oh man, I want to show you this. 
like we say, you always go into the scripture. I don't want any people like, oh, what are you talking about? I've never seen this before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to sh- relax. I'm going to show this in a bit. Um, let us let us look at the scriptures because it's important for us to look at this. Um, just give- so, yeah, let's look at this. Oh, hold on. It's in Second uh, First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 15. No, First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 45. It says, and so it's written, the first Adam was made a living soul. And the last, actually, it's not even the second Adam. It's called, he's, Jesus referred as the last Adam because it's not going to be a third and a fourth Adam. It's, it's the last one. And the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. That means a life-giving spirit. The first Adam was just a living soul. The last Adam was a spirit. It was a life-giving spirit. Howbeit, that wo- that was not fast, which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and after that which is spiritual. So he's saying he didn't start with the spiritual first, because Adam was a natural man. So he started first with na- with Adam, the natural man, and then the last Adam, Christ, was a spirit, the spirit being, this life giving spirit. So the, secondly, the spiritual came second. He said the first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. The first man is from this world. He says, the second man is the Lord from heaven. And he says, as is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. He says, the ones that have been born after the first Adam, they are born naturally. For They are natural. They are of this world. They are earthlings. Ath- they belong to this world. They, they are earthlings. They are humans, earthlings. And he said, and it's the heavenly Oh, such are they also that are heavenly. So they are those who are heavenly. It's not only Jesus that was the heavenly. He says, as, as, is, as is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And he said, and, uh, and, as, and as we have born the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heaven. Meaning like we were born naturally before we were born again. We had that we were natural beings. Now, when we became born again, we took on the heavenly image. Now we are no longer natural man. We were born again. He said that's what it means to be born again. A new species came in, and now we took on the heavenly image. So we are man. We are heavenly beings. We are. That's why this is what it means. It says, if any man be in Christ, he could have said, if any man is in Christ. Um, he has changed his ways or he has changed his mind. He's no longer doing the bad things he used to do. You know, he says, every man in Christ is a new creature. This is a new type of creation. You know, when God said the creation is what, what he doesn't create anymore because he said, let there be light. And he made the birds. He made the, he made man. He made the stars. He made dolphins. He made the different creatures, the lions. He made the different creatures in the world. But he didn't end there. He was still creating. He created when Jesus died on that cross and he rose again. A new, a new species came from that grave, from the resurrection. We were made in Christ. We were born again. A new type of species that didn't exist in the book of that didn't exist in Genesis with Adam. This one came from the last Adam. God created a new type of man from Jesus Christ. If any man be in Christ. He is a new creation. So you got to understand, this is what it means. A new creation. Creation means a new type of being. So God made another type of man. The first man, Adam, was made and he failed. But God said, you know what? You know, remember in Genesis, he said, let's make man in our image, blah, 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 blah. And then he made Adam and everything. You know what happened? But now Christ comes and he dies on the cross and God raises him from the dead. And he make, and he rises up from the dead, a new creature. And we rise from the dead with him as new creatures, as new creations, a new type of human being. I shouldn't even say human, a new type of creature. So anyway, let's keep on reading. This is interesting. Pastor Chris said, a Christian is someone in whom Christ dwells, someone in whom and through whom the kingdom of God is manifested, a carrier of divinity. Once you come to terms with this reality, your life will take on a new meaning. You will live joyfully every day, irrespective and independent of circumstances. This is why it is so important you understand God's word and what he says about you and then live accordingly. Christ in you, the hope of glory. This new type of being, 
He's fused with God. <laughs> That's what he meant. It says, Christ dwells in you. I mean, it would have been even beautiful if God made this new type of human being. That's why he says, um, you know, he said the first man, Adam, was a living soul. He said the second man is a life-giving spirit. How can we give life-giving? Because Christ dwells in us. We have eternal life. Life, eternal, the life of God lives in us. Christ dwells in us. He could have just made us new creatures and then separate from God. But no, he lived in us. We, we were born together because when we died on the cross, we died with him. When God raised us together, he raised us together. We are not separate no more. We can't be separated from God now. <laughs> he didn't make us independent from him. No, this new creature is united with God because Christ lives in us. We're not ordinary. That's why he said... God is money, uh, the king of God's man, a carrier of, we carry divinity. We carry God in us. Man, man. Let me read on. It says, the Bible says, Jesus wasn't only delivered to death on account of your sins. He was also raised for your justification. Romans chapter 4 verse 25. What does it mean to be justified? It means to be declared not guilty. Meaning that in the mind of justice, in the eyes of God, you never sinned. Therefore, no charges against you. Wow, wow, wow. See, see, see why it is so wrong for Christians to say, oh, we were, we, we were just sinners saved by grace. No, you never sinned. You were never a sinner. The world was sinners and God saved them. But when you were, when, when Jesus, he just said, Jesus died on the cross for the whole world, not for Christians. He died on the whole for the whole world. He was nailed on the cross. He went to hell. But when he, God raised him from the dead, he didn't, uh, he, he was not raised from the dead with the same sin. He was raised a new creature. And we were raised together a new creation. We were born out of death. That means there's no past. Oh, can you see this? Look, look, he says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, he says, look, all things have, have become new. There's newness of life. This is not the old life, the sin in life. There's no sins. You are not guilty. You are justified. He said, God forgave us of our sins. You, there was no forgiveness because you never committed any sin because you were born a new creature. This creature never existed before, so you couldn't even charge him on any sins because he never, he was never in this world before. He only came into existence when Christ was raised from the dead. So you can't say, oh, you committed those crimes before. There was no crimes because there's a new type of species that never existed. So that means you're justified. Justification means like in the minds of justice, you are not guilty. No one can be in any accusations. But remember, you used to do this. Yo, that was the old man. If any man is in Christ, now you're in Christ. You are a new type of creature, a new species that never existed before, that is sinless that is righteous, that is not guilty, you are not guilty. Man, 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 this is deep. Are we talking about who we are, right? We're trying to know who we are as Christians. Now, Pastor said, now you can further appreciate what the Bible says, you are holy, unblameable, and unreprovable in the sight of God. That's Colossians chapter 1, verse 22. It's because the Christian is a new creature. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We just read that. You are a brand new species of being that never existed before. That is why God can declare you acquitted. Because there's nothing to judge since you have a brand new life. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. We can't be judged because we never, we were never in the scene before. You can't. The old person died when, when Christ, he said, when Christ, we, we were united with Christ on the cross. When he died, we died. That old man died, buried, completely dead. But when Christ rose again, he didn't rise back with the old man, with the old sins. He rose back a new creature. He says the second Adam is a living spirit. We rose together from the dead. Not the same way we were, but a brand new spirit. That's why he says, man, you got to be born again. It's a new birth. It is a new birth. It's not just a washing of sins away. No, it's a new, completely new birth. A new type of race comes on the scene. This is a different race that never existed before. God totally replaced the old race with a new race. Uh, Pastor Chris says, your justification isn't because Jesus paid for your sins. He did that for the whole world of sinners. But the Christian isn't a sinner. He's a new cre creation. A product not of death, 
and burial of Jesus Christ by of his resurrection. You came from the resurrection. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Grace to reign and exercise dominion over Satan and circumstances. Hallelujah. You want to know what this new creature can do? Let me show you. First John 5, 4. Let's look at it. What is so special about this new creation that you have become? This new person you have What's so special? I told you about the Beamer. I said when you people drive on a Beamer, they know that they can expect a certain quality. Well, as a, a, as, as a Christian, as this new species, he doesn't have the same faults that the first one had. The first species, the man from, from, from the, the first Adam, he was flawed. But God made a different one. He made this new one special, unique, different. Um, first John 5, 4. He says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god who is that the christian he says this new species overcomes the world he's not going to overcome it it won't happen sometime in the future he says whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world this new creature cannot fail that's what he means it says he overcometh the world. Everything that exists in the world, this new creature has overcome it. That means there's no failure for this new creature. This is a different, this species cannot fail. Oh man, I'm excited just learning this. Oh my goodness. There's no failure for me? You mean I'm, a, I'm an overcomer? He said we shall overcome. No, there's no we shall overcome. We have overcome. We are not going to overcome. We have overcome. He says, whatsoever is born of God, I am born of God. That means I've overcome the world. I've overcome the world and its systems. I've overcome the world and its failures. I've overcome the world and its economics and economies. I've overcome the world and its sicknesses and diseases. I have overcome the world and its lies and deceit. I've overcome the world and its lats. I've overcome the world and sin. Sin ha That's why he says sin shall not have dominion over you. Sin cannot have dominion over this new creature. He's superior to the devil. He's superior to demons. Demons need deliverance from the new creature. That's why you can understand as a Christian, you don't need deliverance. Because this new creature is now superior. He's, he's on top. He's superior to the devil. He's superior to the demons of darkness. Because he's joined together with Christ seated together with christ in the seats of power in the seats of authority far above every principality above every every any name that can be named this new creature is superior to failure superior to darkness superior to demonic attacks you don't need deliverance deliverance for what this new creature overcomes the world man i don't want to go <laughs> i'm getting too excited right here let us go back here let's just finish let's just let's take this confession together say this after me I walk in the light of my justification. My life is an expression of God's righteousness. I'm the seed of Abraham. Therefore, I live above lack, sickness, disease, and defeat. I'm victorious all the way, serving the Lord joy joyously and gloriously. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. You can read further studies in 1 John. We just read there 5, 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. And First Peter chapter two verse nine amplified classic edition, and you can you can read a uh, you can follow a one year Bible plan or a two year plan. So read a whole Bible in one year or in two years. The script is right there, picture one that suits you. I hope you've been blessed by today's devotional. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I may, please make sure you do because I release new videos every day, and this is how we're going to learn God's word. You will just watch your life transform. So it's important you should join the Shining Life family and. Watch us increase and make progress together. So thank you once again for watching, for subscribing. And before we go, I want to give a chance. If you're not born again, you can't be a new creature. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're not a new creation. For you to become a new creation, you need to receive the salvation that Christ paid for you. And I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation. So say this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. 
through him and in his name I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah forevermore. You say that prayer. Congratulations. You're born again. It's as simple as that. Make sure you leave me a comment if you say this prayer and subscribe to this channel so you can learn more of God's word. Congratulations. And before I leave, I want to pray for all of you that are watching. I pray that God's spirit will be mighty upon you. I pray that you walk worthy of the Lord, continually and always bearing fruit, productive in everything. Whatever you put your hands to do will succeed and prosper. You'll be like that tree that's planted by the riverside that brings forth fruit in another season. You walk in victory always, continually. God will leave you, lead you into a triumphal procession of victory, a triumphal procession of dominion. You have overcome the world, says the Spirit of God. Nothing and no one can successfully stand against you. You are victor and a champion of forever. Be strong and courageous, say the Spirit of God. Go forth in victory and dominion. Glory be to God forevermore. Amen, amen. Congratulations. It's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you.